fireside chat with KK from HCL. He's been talking at length all morning about the purpose of and the potential of Metaverse, while all of us have been a little concerned as well. Excited, but concerned. So we're gonna, we've picked up actually three potential areas for Metaverse in India, and we'll start with KK and we'll come down to whether or not it's working, what exactly is going to happen there. Uh, KK, first one is education for you. Hit it up. Learning disability is not acknowledged in India at all. Hmm. Most nine out of ten times we always try to hide behind this and say good or bad or your average or not. I think Metaverse has a potential to bridge those learning disabilities, which means kids can learn in the way it suits them. Some are visual learners, some are experiential learners, some are more interactive learners, and some are studious learners. I think it allows you to bridge that gap. So that's one advantage I really see. Okay. But there is a massive digital divide in India. It's going to take decades to do so. All the ed tech companies right now in the current climate are already moving into a hybrid model. They've understood if they want to survive, they'll have to go back offline as well. India has got one of the largest mobile penetration. I think the dependency on this is how fast you roll out broadband infrastructure down at to the edge, including using wireless. I agree. That's a big impediment, but that's, that's only a time window, it's, it's going to happen. We leapfrogged in COVID mobile payments in the country. After two years I visited, I saw pretty much everything going on mobile from payment standpoint. So I think we are leapfrogging. It's going to happen and I think there's, there's just maybe a two, three year gap or maximum four. I think the kind of 4G, 5G networks getting rolled out, India would get covered pretty much down okay, to the let's, village. Let's move to number two. Number two for me is the massive scope of India actually being at the head of this bandwagon. And many say what the bus on Web 1, Web 2 was sort of uh, lost. But Web 3 something India should really jump on. See, India is one of the world's largest consumer markets. It's one of the biggest mi middle class buying power in the system. And we love uh, our jewelry. We love our fashion, we love our own, this thing. I think Metaverse has a unique potential because you could have a twin version, the NFTs, the ability to own. We still, I think it's a simple example, someone was talking to on the street yesterday saying that, do you like, he was asking me, if you like gold, you will like crypto, correct? Because the value of that whole thing, it's got an asset value. But You can't say that any longer, yeah. not after the current bloodbath. And, and speaking to a woman about jewelry, I'll tell you the touch and feel is everything. Yeah, but that's where they're looking at is, when you want to be in the Metaverse, People want a replica of what they had in the physical words there and vice versa. And, and we're seeing that in a lot of customers and some of our large retail customers, they're creating an NFT version of the real product and vice versa. So you could buy a product on the NFT world, you get shipped a real version or you buy a, a real version, you get the replica of that in NFT. So we're seeing some of those early use cases. Consumer potential is there. Gaming, look at gaming in India, correct? exploding in a big way. I think there is potential on the consumer side, but again, the hindsight, I think what you asked about the risk is too much of digital addiction. So I think it's very important. I always give tell people example. You want to be de-addicted, start playing test matches for five days. Correct? You don't need to worry about being in the metaverse all the time. Okay, number three for you. I think enterprise adoption significantly. Training, skilling. Uh, we're going to be a big manufacturing hub. Correct? How do you train so many people on all these different plant, machinery, equipment? Uh, it's going to be hybrid work. It's going to continuously be on place. Modernization of skills. I think metaverse is a huge potential in terms of high-risk jobs. In India, we still have so many people doing high-risk jobs but without much training, correct? We just, uh, I think, uh, it's such a big factor. I think there are a lot of areas for the enterprise potential and the use cases are going to be immersed uh, on this. I think it's still uh, scratching the surface. There's going to be a huge uh, upside but, on okay, this. Okay, concern here for me is uh, the regulation bit. Concern over here is also government speed of adoption to Metaverse and Web3 and even blockchain on the whole. Uh, how are you seeing the current regulation climate in India? Yeah, the whole debate in the panel today was who governs. I think the question is, is it self-governed? Is it centrally controlled in a country as diverse as India? It's very complex because I think uh, because of the dexterity and the divide which we have on the digital side, uh, I think there has to be a balance just to be brought in. Innovation can only happen if you let it decentralized but the risk of that is you can lose trust at some point in time i don't think there is an answer but i think there has to be a middle path it can't be either or or so i think we will have to find a middle path i think india has shown some good examples in terms of payments actually you built the other we built the other infrastructure but people are building apps around that things like that, that happened because the government sort of really stepped in do you think in. that's where the first step i think really ubiquitous connectivity secure digital access if government can enable and i think making sure access to internet 
high speed broadband connection it's like electricity road and water i think the fourth thing that everyone should focus on is access correct the moment you do that you have the cloud you have the edge and and all those different aspects will do that but i think getting ubiquitous access is going to be i think if that should be like building highways is one you should make sure we create digital highways so we create those access points i think every home should have a 100 gig or a fiber access if we could reach that or with a 5g i think then we can solve a lot of the problems together uh, there was also a concern raised today about the energy crisis and how and what role web3 blockchain crypto is going to play in that yep because if you start building immersive experiences you'll cut down travel you will cut down mobility and one of the largest consumers of energy is going to be is in mobility space especially oil and driving and other stuff so i think there's a huge advantage i think if you get more digital access you can cut down many a times for transactional mundane work connectivity but i still do not believe that schools should be completely virtual Pe children go to school not because they go to learn is because they go to be in an environment they get to learn social skills metaverse can enable that but still the you do you still need the physical so where do you draw the line i think that's what everybody is really wondering i think there is as we say in our eastern philosophy correct there is no right or wrong correct you have a shared truth i think each one of us has to figure out what is the right balance i don't think i'm i, I could i'm in a position to even define and dictate what is the right line but i think there has to be some pragmatic balance it has to be continuously discussed i think a lot of our kids when they way they use the technology will tell you what's the, this thing and you as parents when you start to find a way to balance that whole thing out so maybe we'll have to so start you almost about to quote geeta to me a tech guy is no. telling me is taking a leaf out of geeta and telling no, me what, think, uh, which way the world is going to go reality i think people there are evolutions in technology i think quantum computing when you start to look at what's happening in quantum you need to learn uh, go back and learn back take a few leaves from spirituality because there are things which are happening which you think is we still unraveling physics correct what you see on surface or what's the subsurface is quite different so i think yeah the, the science is still a lot way to go to learn what about uh, uh the world economic forum or davos actually taking place in the metaverse is the next davos going to be there yeah good i think that's a question for you to ask dr shop i think he has to decide whether wef will maybe yes at some point in time i think the virtual wefs have been happening yeah that would be a good 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 potential at some point in time we still have to solve the connectivity problem you need to have really high speed ubiquitous connectivity to make that work okay thank you kk so much thanks so much good